Hello and welcome to the video. We seem to be talking a lot about SpeedyBee on the channel this week. Just a couple of days ago, I talked about their latest release of one of their new quads. That was the SpeedyBee B25. Uh, I'll put a link down below if you want to go and check out that particular review. I really like that model. And nestled away inside that is actually an all-in-one flight controller. And it works really nicely. And that they have offered all-in-one flight controllers in the past, but this is their very latest version. This is the F405 all-in-one that's just been released today. Now, I'm recording this in advance of it being released, as I've had one in for about a week. I don't know the final price. However, Speedy B don't tend to absolutely bend us over when it comes to the price for their hardware. So I've got my fingers crossed that it's a decent price point. Couple of headlines for this thing, despite it's only 33 by 33 millimeter size, it does support up to 40 amp currents. So that means that it can handle two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, and maybe up to five inch quads without too much problem, as long as you're not going super crazy. STM32 F405 processor in this means that it isn't going to be depreciated anytime soon. Uh, other boards, remember the F411 um, iNav, the version we've got now is the kind of the latest version that will support that. Big thing on the top for heat dissipation to keep this nice and cool. And it has all the wireless goodies in here as well. So it supports things like the SpeedyB app, which allows for remote updates, flashing the firmware, changing the settings, and also stuff like remote reboots too. And all that stuff is done via the new wireless tuning 2.0 that SpeedyB have in here that makes all of that adjustments easy, including things like setting the LED strip, similar to what I showed on that B25 just a few days ago. Despite its compact size, uh, there are an awful lot of pads. They're a little bit bigger than the previous all-in-ones that SpeedyB has done, which I absolutely appreciate. Not everybody is a genius when it comes to soldering and having a bigger pad will help. But on here, they've managed to squeeze four UARTs, one I2C connection for an external compass, brilliant, great for things like iNav, and it has a 5 volt 2 amp BEC and an external 9 volt 1.5 amp and 5 volt 2 amp switchable BECs on here as well, perfect for powering your external video equipment, cameras and other pieces. As you'd expect, as well as having the ESC's flight controller all-in-one board, it has the on-screen display chip if you're going to run with analog, 8 meg of black box storage, and will support both Betaflight and iNav. Who knows whether or not there'll be an Ardu pilot target for it eventually. Power input on this is 3 to 6S. Uh, mounting holes are 25.5 by 25.5 millimeters. Again, the dimensions overall are 33 by 33 by 8 millimeters high. Weight is about 13 and a half grams with the CNC heatsink. But as you can see here, you get all the different little bits and pieces, including a Type C extension module, which means that you can mount this away hidden in the middle of a model and you can still get access to the USB port if you want to plug it in directly to change settings and stuff however with a lot of the stuff that you probably be playing with on this you probably going to need just to do it with the app the manual itself is really well laid out i love the fact that they're putting on here all of the common things that most people are going to do not just the motors but also how you connect up your analog fpv gear how you do your receiver where the buzzer goes and even how things like the led strip attach as well and i love the fact that they've included a soldering practice board in here too so if you aren't a genius when it comes to soldering i would recommend spending a bit of time getting to grips with the iron and the solder that you have. I'll put a link down below to my soldering video if you're not sure how all that stuff works so that you can play with all of that stuff on the soldering board before you put the soldering iron anywhere near the flight controller. Now, this doesn't have a receiver built in. That's probably the only thing that it doesn't have. However, there is a lot of great setups in the manual for connecting a receiver, whether it's the TBS Crossfire system over CRSF, whether it's something like an Express LRS receiver, which pads that go to, even things like SBUS and stuff is all covered in here as well. So if you are unsure of how it all goes together, where you're going to plug in your DJI stuff or your Walksnail stuff, hopefully it will give you a really good idea. Again, interesting nothing in the manual is being shown how you would wire up things like the Walksnail and HD0 systems. Come on, Speedy B, as I mentioned in the other video, don't just pander to your DJI rep. Please remember that there are pilots out there who don't fly the DJI HD system. But if you do, 
the connections are basically going to be the same and the setup's pretty much going to be the same too but it would be nice to have that represented in the manual for those who just want to see it with their own eyes and be confident they're about to put it all together in the right way gps connections are also shown as well including the external compass so all in all this is a very capable little compact flight controller stack that will allow you to build quite a funky little quad and that b25 is a great example of the kind of stuff you can do with a board like this so just wanted to make you aware that this has just been released again today i'm going to be having a look on the website about it this is one of those kind of cool things that i get excited about because i'm thinking about building a smaller quad and this could absolutely be at the heart of that so just on the lookout now for a nice frame and if i find one this is going to stay on my goodie pile so that i can use it in that build Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payment360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.